I need another root beer. Pull one out of my mini fridge here. There we go. You know, I love old timey cars. I think they're so neat looking. Oh, so you're the guy with the, the face scar that she cut open. Great, wonderful. Love that you do such a great job as being a cop. Here we are, Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Winchester? Pardon? Who? Um, yeah, I thought this match was burnt in the fire. I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? I always have more questions. I mean, it's, you know, it's just the nature of things. So yeah, the caretaker. <laughs> He's clearly not doing any gardening. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. Oh, that's so he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? Are you going to keep asking me the same thing, or can I just finish asking you questions? So anything I should be wary of? I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go, right? All right, all right. Calm down. So yeah, this place is falling to ruin. You won't get me to believe that it looked any better three months ago. It's a very old building, you know. Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. It's right? got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins' debts. Ha. Huh. You've already begun to nose around, it would seem. It's so, little. since you already know it, the Hawkins family couldn't afford the upkeep of this house. It remains to be seen what they did with all their money. I wager it was Charles Hawkins' travels. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. Again, I always have more questions. Yeah, I'm sure we'll find some issues inside. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? Or maybe you're just covering your ass. Hmm. No, let's go. The night falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. Sure. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go.
So yeah, I guess we'll go talk to this gardener first, and then uh, explore the mansion. It's a nice looking statue. Man, I don't think I'd ever want to live in a place like this. I mean, there's no greenery, just a lot of dirt. Cool. So, uh, Robert to the Gravestones, huh? Where's this? Where's this guy? Where we're supposed to be seeing, huh? Poor kid. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Charles Hawkins' grave. Who could have done this? I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, Detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Uh, yeah, it's a strange front resting place, sure. Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. Uh -huh. I guess I Let's go to the mansion. Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. True, bud. Take the time you need. Poor kid. You, uh, you coming? Hello? Officer. You there, Pat? You, you there? You good? Okay, uh, I guess I'll go on without you. Whatever. Why am I getting weird noises? Hmm. Interesting. This entrance is still in use. Hmm. Whoa! Easy. You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, all right? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them. Dump them into the ocean. Whoa! You need to calm down there, bud. Uh, you're Mr. Winchester. Lower that axe, and let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. Who the fuck's that cop? You can ask Officer Bradley if it's true. He's right behind me, paying his respects at the Hawkins family graves. Yeah. Bradley? Uh, a good guy. Not as dumb as you think. Yeah, that's right. He'll tell you that we're working together. Understood. I'm listening. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. No, I can't let you in. The mansion isn't safe. 
That's why you really barricaded care. the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. Uh -huh. And you want to get rid of me? The sooner I carry out my investigation, the sooner I wrap up the case and return to Boston. After which, you'll never hear of me again. Huh. I like the sound of that. But I have a better idea. You leave right now, and you never come back. Silas! Pierce! In God's name, what are you doing? Officer Bradley, this hood was trying to break into the mansion. Do something, Bradley. Or this story will have a nasty ending. I vouch for him, Silas. He's working with us. Yeah, Silas. We have reason to believe off. that someone entered the mansion and stole some paintings. Impossible. I would have seen it. Better safe than sorry. Now let us in. I promise to keep an eye on this one. Okay, then. I'll leave the key with you. You could have told me that earlier, Sonny. You're a crotchety Let's see what fuck. more I can learn from this mansion. You are an absolute dick. You know, I don't like anybody on this island. I think the only person so far I've liked is the cop. And that's only because he's been somewhat nice to me. Everybody else has been kind of an asshole. It's always okay too, I guess. The fathers were the only ones destroyed. You know what? I didn't catch that. Hmm. But now that you mention it. Shall we enter? I'm going to walk back there. What now? Nothing. I have nothing to say to you. You're dead. I laid me down and slept, and I wait for the Lord to sting me. Okay. A Bible stuff. Huh. Charles Hawkins Grave. Who could have done this? Yeah, that is interesting. I just wasn't thinking about it. I mean, like, I just kind of took it as, like, everything in this place kind of looks run down, beat the shit. So, I didn't really think much of it. Right. P.S. Shall we enter? Now that you've finished your fun and games with Silas, we can perhaps inspect the mansion. I mean, You're right. sure. Let's go. Now that he's done trying to, you know, fucking kill me. Let's take a look inside. I'm with you. Well, if somebody was obsessing over the painting and collecting her things, and then his flowers were smashed. Maybe a jealous lover of someone, perhaps? Maybe this person started the fire because they were jealous? Follow me. I know the place. Who left this light on? I don't know, it was probably the dude that we met outside. The Last Supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? I don't know what this is, but that's fucking gross. Whatever it is. Whatever this is, that's nasty. Sure. Let's enter investigative mode. What kind of meat is this? It's a damn good question. I 
Yeah, no, that's not anything that's normal. Okay, it's not. This place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. Uh-huh, sure. The boy was probably here. Smashed his plate on the floor. Sarah Hawkins didn't eat. Was it because of the meat or something else? Maybe. Something happened at this table. Yep. An argument? So maybe because he was being a dick for some reason? Maybe yelling at his kid because he dropped the plate? Or maybe because I didn't want to eat the Cthulhu meat? Hey, Pierce. Daydreaming again. Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Sure. I mean, to be straight up honest with you, I wouldn't want to eat Cthulhu meat either. Silas managed to bring the fire under control. But it was already too late. Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. Sure. Here we go. Mm. The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? That's a good question. They had a fight. Why? Mm. Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? Ah, uh, was he an alcoholic? Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? Ah, uh, that explains a lot. The piece of alcoholic? Did it stop at the time of the fire? All right. Oh, I'm missing painting. If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? Hmm. Missing anything else? I don't think so. Okay, well, it's not letting me exit it, so uh, perhaps I am missing something? Am I just blind? Oh. Did someone escape the fire? Hmm. Maybe he's still alive. Not dead after all. The blood. This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. This was a fight. You know, the fire definitely probably was a cover up. Someone fell here. A desperate attempt to flee. So, detective, what do you make of it? Yeah, the fire wasn't just an accident. I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. What's your theory? Mm, yeah, I think it was a crime of passion. Personally. I suspect a crime of passion. 
You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. Well, I mean, I am officially licensed investigator, so... This door is locked. Hmm. History of medicine. Interesting. These bandages are covered in dried blood. The same bandages that I saw in the warehouse on the docks. And given the blood stains, I'd also say that it's the same person. Perhaps a person that got burned with a lamp? Was well, somebody who has experienced burns? Yeah, it can definitely make your uh, flesh uh, break open. It's not fun. Very painful. The lyrics of the drunken sailor. The sea shanty. I love sea shanties. This door is blocked from the outside. You know, all in all, this is a nice looking mansion. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Dated 1818. The father? Maybe. I still think it might have been somebody else. Maybe she was having an affair, perhaps? Also, by the way, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein is a fucking awesome book. An yeah, absolute classic, and a must-have. Hmm. Moby Dick. So Bill was that Bill's one. Classic. The epic battle between man and whale. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. I, mean, I personally have copies of both of those books. <laughs> This piano is in disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that actually do that. They keep pianos more for decoration than for music. They always go out of tune and then they become pretty much irreparable. This place was falling apart long before the fire. Hmm. Well, that's a nice painting. A book on the first inhabitants of the island. It seems they got here around the 14th century. I would fucking love to have a library like this. Hmm. Interesting. Another medical book. Oh, hey, it's the family. Oh. Hmm. So the lighter gets hot. Interesting. That's a mechanic I wasn't expecting. What do you know about Charles Hawkins' activities? Well, not much, to be honest. We all assumed the Hawkins lived on Charles's inheritance. No, to sit in call her. Call and help me gather clues with my friends in these kind of games. Yeah, it's always great. I mean, having somebody else point something out that maybe you missed is always pretty fucking awesome. This piano is in disrepair. Looks like hmm. the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. Let me check upstairs now. So who is this guy? I'm not sure if that's her dad. Doesn't really look like him. A book on hunting whales. The island's staple diet last century. Dark water history. This place was settled back in 1692 by two families that seceded from the New England colonies. 
Interesting. Uh huh. So what's with the skull? There's something disturbing about this painting. A little. There's something disturbing about this painting. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. That's another amazing book. Um, <laughs> I have a copy of that as well. What next? Grimm's Fairy Tales? Alice in Wonderland? Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? Dear Sarah, as you know, I've always held you and your family in high respect. Unfortunately, I can no longer continue to close my eyes on the behavior of your wife. Last week again, she terrified my clientele. And I know that she means no harm, but you should place her in care of Dr. Fuller. He alone seems to be able to make her come to her senses. If these disturbances were to occur... Believe me that, although it would feel like torture, I would be obligated to involve the police. Respectfully yours, Anton Wallard. Hmm. It is said that she might, that she has, like, fits and visions, so I'm thinking that she might be schizophrenic, perhaps? Or her mind's warped by Cthulhu, so, you know, whatever. They have an extensive collection of books, and we heard a guy mentioning earlier at the bar about uh, a book that was warping someone's mind, so uh, perhaps the Necronomicon? Locked. Oh, this door's open. And very dark. The boys' room. Is there a light that I can light? No. Okay. Let's do the investigation vision. A child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? Um, well, uh, who knows? Pills. Tom Sawyer. Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Uh, I've read that one. Not personally a fan? Okay, that's not terrifying. Or anything. Those drawings. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11-year-old boy. What was wrong with this family? Yeah, that's a little bit much. But I mean, if the kid's dealing with constant stress in the family home, I mean, I can kind of understand. Oh, hey, see, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. Another classic. What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? I don't know, demons, maybe? Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. Yeah, it seems like. I mean, if I saw demons, I'd be pretty terrified too, so, you know. Hmm. I missed something. Hmm. Let me check something real quick. Do I have any points? I do. You know what, let's just do this. Ah, 
The argument that led to their tragic end seems to have been simmering for some time. So before we drew, he was seemed worried about his mother and her attacks. Tension also seemed to be growing between the Hawkins couple, with the fire be a result of an argument. More than likely. But about what? Ah, key. That's certainly useful. What will her room reveal about her? Hmm, it's a solid question. The kids give meaning to the things that they make? Yeah, I mean, it's true. Barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. I mean, probably. There's something hidden here that I'm missing. Ah, here we are. Hmm. Hmm, yeah. Couldn't possibly begin to wonder about um, demons and other gods and all sorts of other nasty tentacle creature monsters. There we go. Perfect. Okay, we're going to take a second. Can I do the investigation of this room? No. Okay. Hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yes. Don't think they read something but saw something? Yeah, probably. Or, you know, they read the Necronomicon. Despite what happened, they seem to have loved each other. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. Huh. The Shambler. Hmm. It seems the last one was given for free to Francis Sanders. I wonder why. Yeah, it's not terrifying or anything. Sarah Hawkins' agent was getting worried. Seems she wasn't giving any signs of life. My very dear sir, ever since you've left to bury yourself away on that long lost island, your art has been attracting increasing numbers of collectors. I beg you to send some of your new paintings, the last ones, so somber and strange, moving as no other paintings have been, are selling at a premium price. The percentage of these most recent sales is attached. Do not forget your friend, who was the first to recognize your genius and display it into the world. Affectionately yours, Maximilian. Maximilian, huh? Hmm. Okay. So we have another name. Perhaps Maximilian was a, you know, a person that I was talking about. Deep gashes in the wall. How interesting. And in the floor. Huh. And on the paintings. I'm curious. And up the wall. Maybe they're not gashes. Maybe they're... Nope. Those are gashes in the wall. That's torn wallpaper. Looks like. Alright. This door is locked. This door is locked. Hmm. 
Well, let's go take a look around somewhere else, I guess. Or maybe go talk to the police officer. Hey, buddy, you got anything to talk to me about? If you're right, we should be able to find clues among the Hawkins' personal effects. I mean, I'm working on it. You know, we helped out a little. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Dated 1818. Miss anything back this way? I feel like I might have missed a room or something. This door is locked. Hmm. Was Charles Hawkins some kind of explorer? Charles and Sarah's wedding is painted by Sarah herself. Interesting. I did miss a couple of things. Sarah Hawkins and Little Simon. The perfect picture of the middle class family. Okay, well, I guess anything else that I'm looking for has got to be somewhere else deeper in the mansion. Seriously, you hear what? What do you know about Charles Hawkins' activities? Well, not much, to be honest. We all assumed the Hawkins lived on Charles's inheritance. Hmm. And? If you're right, we should be able to find clues among the Hawkins' personal effects. Yes, we've gone over that. Do you have anything else to say to me? Did you hear that? Okay, you're just repeating yourself. I'm assuming I have to probably go in and investigate her room. No, it says I got everything in here, so... So I got everything here. This door is locked. What the hell? Where the fuck do I go from here? Oh. Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah, I didn't look directly down at the floor because it's a floor. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? I mean, it seems like. Looks like a 
revocation ritual? Was she trying to invoke something or banish it? So yeah, I guess we just happen to know what that is. That's, that's cool. But yeah. Ritual. Bradley? Is that you? Oh, wonderful. The door that was locked. Bradley? Is anyone there? Hello. A lit lantern. Demons, they're lighting lanterns now. Hmm. That looks awfully a lot like us, doesn't it? Jesus fucking Christ. You stop. Very creepy cultists. Because, of course. Bradley, did you see which way he went? Who? I didn't see anyone. I just heard some noise. Are you all right? No. A man was hiding on the upper level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. I'll cover you. This door was closed earlier. Where did he go? Wait. This globe seems to have been part of some mechanism. Interesting. Okay, yeah, I'll have to fuck around really with that. think that your fugitive came in here? Doesn't work. I don't see any. I must have missed something. The Scylla. It's the boat that was stranded at the entrance to the harbor. Uh -huh. It looks like a freehand map of dark water. Certain areas have been highlighted. I wonder why. I have no idea why. That's a terrible map. Clearly, Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. And who's the other person? Wearing the butcher's apron. I wonder who the man with the glasses is in the photograph. Probably another friend of Hawkins. How do I put away my lamp? I put it away? Okay, that's interesting. I'm like, heavy burning. Okay, it's why to put it away. All right, there we go. It looks like an old seaway map. Hmm. Okay. They look that's important. They look like Celtic runes. Charles must have brought them back from one of his foreign trips. Uh huh. So you just happen to have rune stones. No, that's not a cult or anything. Seems like this came from a log. Hmm. 33 north, 53 west. There must be a link with the seaway map. Was again? I really wasn't there must paying be a all link attention. With the seaway map. Thirty-three north, fifty-three west. So north, thirty-three 
53 west. Is that close enough? Yeah. Looks like it worked. Well done, Pierce. I'm good at puzzles. Most of the time. Also, that is an awesome secret door. I want a secret door with a globe puzzle. <laughs> 